Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another Cheapskate Coins video. This time we are doing a box of nickels. So when I went to the bank and asked them for this box, they didn't have an unopened box of nickels. But the teller let me know that they did have enough to put together a box and asked me if that was okay. So of course I said sure. So we ended up with a box that does have six customer rolls and then the rest of them are our bank rolls. So I went ahead and checked all the enders. The only ender we have, I know you're not going to be able to see it on the camera, but we will definitely put pictures of it in the, in the recap. Right up here, I really wish I had a better camera so you could see this, because this camera does not like focusing on close-ups. But right up here, there's actually a die clash. There are letters that are imprinted across the top. So we will definitely get you better pictures of that at when we do the recap. I have already looked at it unopened under the microscope to confirm it. And there is at least three to four letters that can be made out on a die clash. So, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this, this roll here. And do it live for you guys to see if there's anything else in it. And then as always, of course, we'll come back. Or we'll uh, go through the rest of it off camera. And then get you the recap. Alright, so I definitely want to get this one set aside here. Let me see what year it is. What are we looking at here? Uh, looks like a 72. So that's the one that's got the die clash on it. So we'll definitely be taking a closer look at that to, and get good photos of it with the scope for you guys. But all right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, the camera lined up a little bit better. Slide it forward this way. That'll work. All right, let's have a look here. See if we got any any kind of silvers or buffaloes going on. You want to watch for two thousand nines because those were very low mintage. You also want to watch for 59s, because 59s were extremely low mintage too. Less than 25 million per mint were made for 59s. Let's take a closer look at this one with the, the, the magnifier. All right, well, not a silver, but that is a 1941. So that's a pretty old one. I had to look at it with a magnifier. My eyes are not wonderful when looking at tiny little things. Right, uh, could be another one from the 40s. A lot of old coins in this roll. No silvers yet, though, with all these old dates. Part of the Westward Journey series, right there. That's the keel boat. Let's see. Uh, 
That was a pretty grungy one. That's a pretty nasty one right there. And you can barely even see the face on that one. It's super corroded. Anyway, another one of the Westward Journey series. That's the, uh, the ocean in view. This was the one that was uh, when Lois and Clark first got over to the west coast. And when they first saw that ocean and knew that they'd made the journey from the east coast all the way over to the west coast. One of the things I like about coins is you know, the history and some of the sets they've been doing you know, over the last 20 years or so with the states and the America the Beautifuls and the Westward Journey Nichols and all that. You know, they're kind of telling a story of the history of America and some of the great things that have happened in this country. It's very cool. It's always important to remember your history. You know, all the things that had to happen to, to make this country what it is. So, you want to remember the good and of course you want to remember the bad parts of it too. If you don't remember mistakes, you're doomed to repeat them, right? The bad part, of course, being the, uh, you know, the unfortunate way that the, the Native Americans were treated. Certainly wasn't good, which is why they did the, you know, they're kind of honoring that too with the, the Sacagawea Native American series now with the, the dollar coins showing all of the, the ways that Native Americans actually helped to, to build America, even despite what had happened to them, they still helped out. All right, so no silvers, no buffaloes. Definitely a lot of old ones we'll be taking a closer look at. Of course, the die clash that we definitely will be getting you better photos of. Because this thing is just crazy. But, I mean, even... I don't know, I can't tell if the camera can see it or not, but even from this distance, you can, I can see right there lettering going so i'm definitely looking forward to getting you guys photos of this thing so all right so we'll get through the rest of this box i wanted to let everybody know because i have had a couple of people ask me you know because I, I constantly say we and all you guys over here is me so i wanted to let you, let you guys all know that when i say we i'm referring to myself and my wife uh, my wife collects with me she goes through coins with me She's just kind of a shy person and doesn't want to be on camera or have her voice on camera. I'm working on it. It's one of my goals to at least eventually get her to, to say hi to you guys. So that's what I'm referring to when I say we. But we'll definitely get through this box and we'll come back in the recap. All right, we are back with the wrap. 
So something definitely strange about this box it seemed like the older the coins got, the better shape they were in. And the newer ones were just, for the most part, kind of wrecked. Which was definitely weird. But we'll go over what we got out of this box. Not a bad box. We got up here is all of the, you know, just the basic dates that were in good enough condition that we're going ahead and keeping them and adding them to our collection. We got... A Canadian nickel. Seem to always get at least one of these per box. Which is fine with us because, you know, for those of you who regularly watch our our channel, probably figured out by now we do collect foreign coins as well. So we always like getting these. We did get one war nickel. Seems to be the going thing for every box, getting one war nickel per box. This one is a 1945P. So 35% silver right there. That's awesome. Always nice finding silver. And then these four are the other big finds. Of course, here was that one that I showed you at the beginning that was that ender. I looked at it closer with the scope, and I'm not sure if, if it was actually a, a die clash or not. I'm still going to put pictures of it. So if you're, any of you who are knowledgeable about die clashes, go ahead and put a comment below this video. Um, there is one spot on there where it, it does look like there's an S, but it is also very damaged up here. So I don't know if it was just because of the way that the damage was that it just happened to land in the shape of an S. So go ahead and put some comments on there on if you think that, that is the case. And then we've got this one. That I don't know how well you can see it on the camera here. Lighting is not the greatest right now. I will put pictures up at the end as I always do whenever we find errors and varieties. So you can see these way better. But up in here there's three spots where there's a lot of extra material. Up on the top of the building. So that was kind of crazy to find that. And then, oh, which one was it? Let me look real quick. Alright, then we got this one. Turn that off. Again, I don't know if you, how well you can see it on the camera. But this one's actually a strike through. And again, I will have a um, way better photo of it. But it's actually a, like a juice tab or a soda can tab apparently got between the, the the dies when this one was struck and left an imprint of it so we thought that was kind of cool and then the biggest one the biggest find of the errors is right here and you won't be able to see it on the camera for sure but this is a 1941 s and it's an s over s Repunch mint mark and I looked it up and this one is a Verified error um, It is uh, FS 502 if I remember correctly So this one is an attributed error, so that was awesome to find that Again, that's a 1941 s over s so That was a really cool find and there were also you know again, there will be better pictures of all four of these up towards the end of the video so that was the box it was a again it was a kind of a weird box so some, definitely some nice finds got some some errors and varieties got a, some silver some canada got some uh some, some really nice looking quarters that we got, were adding to our date or to our collection this one was a cool one let me show you this one real quick 1940 in great condition with some really nice kind of a, a patina toning on it that was just a really nice find so all right so if you like this video of course remember to subscribe give it a thumbs up 
click the, the little bell for the notifications for any time we post up a video. Um, remember to share out our content, let others know. Um, we're already building towards our, our 500 subscriber mark for the 500 sub giveaway. So the, the faster you guys can help us you know, get more subs and more viewers, the faster that giveaway is coming. And if, there's, if you've seen the, the winner circle video from the 100 sub giveaway, then you've already seen we announced two of the prizes that are going to be in that giveaway. And the other prizes that are going to be added to that giveaway as our subs go up, are they're, they're going to be just as good. So you're definitely going to want to, to help us get up to that point to, to see those. So, all right, until the next video, thanks for watching, and this is Cheapskate Coin signing out.